Welcome to our next lecture in the series on condensed matter theory. In the previous video, I introduced the Dirac equation and showed how Dirac came to the idea to propose the equation that he proposed. And we wrote down the equation acting as a four factor on the electron or the, the large component with spin up and spin down and the small component with spin up and spin down. In order to describe electrons moving in a solid, we have to look at electrons moving in an electromagnetic potential. So for that, we need to add to the Dirac equation the interaction between the electron and an electromagnetic potential. For that, we will use the magnetic vector potential. given by A, which can be position and time dependent, and the electric potential, which is given by phi. Now, I'm not gonna go into electromagnetics too much. Um, for that, I just refer you to um, classical lectures on electron dynamics, and we're just gonna take those results and put them into the equations that we have for the quantum mechanics in, of an electron in a relativistic electron, so the Dirac equation. Now we can express the potential energy of an electron at position R and your potential as a function of position and time is given as minus E times the electric potential, your potential energy RT. And note that we will take E to be a positive constant. So the charge of an electron is minus E. So this is just the charge Q times the potential, gives you the potential energy. We can look at the electrical field. E is the gradient of your potential minus the time derivative of the magnetic vector potential. And the magnetic field is gradient cross A. So far we are just doing classical electromagnetics and we can also follow classical electromagnetics to now introduce the interaction between an electron and the electromagnetic field. And what you have seen in classical electrodynamics is that you can replace the impulse, uh, sorry, the momentum <laughs> by the momentum plus E times A. Impulse is German. So our Hamiltonian, our Dirac Hamiltonian becomes C, the speed of light, times a sum over the spatial coordinates, the momentum plus E times the magnetic vector potential plus the potential energy that we have due to the electric potential plus alpha 4 mc squared, the rest mass. And we just have, as we have for the Schroeder equation, ih bar d dt times the wave function is the Dirac Hamiltonian times the wave function. So, a rather short video that shows you how to include electromagnetic fields into the Dirac equation. And for the main part, we just follow what we know from classical electrodynamics. 
and we make the same substitution as you can do for classical electrodynamical interactions. But now, of course, in the Hamiltonian, where you act on the wave function, having operators in there. Thank you very much for your attention. We see each other later. Stay healthy.